Hey friends, we'll be back again to this new video tutorial with OST Pro. In this video, simply I'm going to show you how can you create a simple uh, student uh, management system using C program, uh, C programming language. I already have one that actually happened to create some time. I would like to just actually go through the codes together and just show you how the system works. Now, if I happen to enter, I have to enter the student's name. If that's the name of the student, like that. And actually, it's telling us that your name is Obut David and you are a pupil of WebInfo. Now, make actually enter marks for the student. If you enter the following marks of maybe your student, it will actually also even happen to tell you the uh, sorry. It will. If that's it, if you happen to enter the marks of the student to look great the student accordingly. To tell your name is blah blah, your total marks is that, and um, your average is this, and you excel. Now we made it some condition there. So, guys, let us see how can we make this simple program using C. Yeah. yeah. So, let me just create here my files. Just going to use C. I use C free or use plus plus. Let me just use this dev plus plus. So I'm going to start with actually the preprocessor directive, calling importing them. And I can also happen to import the to call for this pony. And I'll also have to say here int main. Now here you can put the argument, but I'll just pass pass that and I just put void out in this program. And since I'm using that end main, then I have to turn zero error for the program. So this is the system there. That's the, the the structure for our C program. Let me just put it inside here, and I'm just going to call it uh, student. Uh, management let's call it that wow just using C so guys that's it let me just start here I'm just going to actually remember I'm going to whereby to define my variable so I'm going to just say declaration of variables Now inside here, I'm just going to start first of all with the names. Remember, in our program there, it's having what known as uh, students' uh, first name. Now which first name is going to be? Now simply this is a string in a C program. And to get a string, you get what known as, uh, you, to get a string in a C, you use array to increase on the space, actually the storage. And then you specify with uh, a variable then that's where you actually happen to give if I say 10 that implies the first name will be of 10 letters so I'll just also actually change just copy this very stuff and I paste it here and I just change that one to last name so so far those are done now I have also declared the other stuffs which actually will be post will be in, uh, in our on the results and actually the average so i need to declare my subjects which will be an integer i'll just say uh d maths i'll also have to just also declare dim english uh dim sst and dim uh, science to be our stuff now we also have to get the one for total and average so also declare dim total to be the total max and then actually average to be the average max now the declaration is done i can just simply say now it's a time now to uh, construction of the i will simply use that simple term to bring for you actually to let guys know where actually we are adding to so i'll just come here by actually telling the program to print from out down here Guys, I've not used much condition here at the moment. I'm just trying actually to let everyone know, and then I'll make for you guys the next system. So I may not even do much. I'll just say enter. 
are you your name which entering your name will expect the name to be scanned by the user who will be using your system or scanf so that is it come just down here and actually we have to now to use 100 percent uh s since pass we are using a string and i'm going to just specify to this actually first name here on my program and i happen to paste it here down but i have to use one on us one on us the logical that logical and for bitwis to increase the storage and actually to enable the user be actually in position to enter his actually first name within the program so that's it just copy this because also we have to scan for the second name of the user so let's also do that now this is it the error name of the user which also i happen to i'll need to be given then the program so i'll just have to do to bring also an echo after this following stuff down after the user entering those blue names so I'll just tell you here that now maybe hey so I'll just use maybe a percent s space percent s I just also have to maybe to give a comma there a percent s u1 name hey just say hey OSP you can now you can now see you are ready we just use something like that simply here within the program because this is what i mean if i happen to compile this program uh there's no here i know so let's just try to run the program if i have a, to enter here one on us osp and i enter here pro that's it the system has to wow there's some error somewhere within the program remember now this the reason why we have that is because i happen to use percent s here which is okay but i didn't actually happen to put it outside here so why would you get that just come and do the same stuff here copy that very stuff and you paste it here out by putting there also logical and in front of and put a comma also with the logical and again for the next one which is going to be for error name because happen remember guys we happen to call it somewhere so within the program so that's it if you try to open and write your osp and then actually write pro that's it the program has to tell you actually hey osp pro you are can now see your operating system so i'm going to just put some good kind of backslash and within here so that uh, uh the next information that actually i'm going to be getting in the program does not be interfered by uh, what actually i'm doing so just after then let me just also come down in this program here and i add the following codes now remember we have already scanned for the user's name which is okay but now we have now to actually now can i say let me even use a comment there and I just talk about maybe actually entering the max entering max and average away the total that's what actually the part now right now we are going into where i have said i'm going to give you a one on a scan f actual print f where i'm going to just tell the user enter your max for i'll just say maybe max for maths i'll also use the backslash n because i will need the next information of the user to go to the next new line and i'll also have to actually use your scan f so that it will be scanning the information of the user which now this case is going to be percent d because that's of the data type integer you guys who have not yet actually oh, don't know maybe why i'm using percent d percent s guys i would request you guys go and watch my video on how on data types please guys don't forget go and watch my videos for that type so that guys you don't get confused here within the program so here outside also still have to use one as the logical and for b twist and i'll just say here math so that the storage can be increased remember guys our integers only have the storage of four bytes a single integer so i have to increase because the user may enter more than that so let us up coming down here and i'm just going to copy this very same stuff and 
I happen to paste in within the program here. So I'll need more two of them. So that's it. Just come down here and I try to actually reduce them like that. So this is going to be now for English. And this one here is going to be actually for SST. And then this is going to be for, for science. Just like that. So I'm just going to come down here and actually I happen to change this code. I say science, then this is going to be SST. Wow, and that's actually English, which is A. Now that's it, guys. So far, that those stuffs are down. Now, what are we left to get, my friend? We're left with the total. And how do we get total? Remember, total is given us what you have to know. Total is given us getting maths, simply getting maths. You add with English, and then we shall also add with SST. Then plus science. That's how simple you get total. So I'll just also even just copy this very stuff I've said to you here, guys. That's actually what happened to get a total in the program. So I'll just also make sure that my program does not give me an error by me giving actually all my information within a, a bracket to avoid an error within the program to avoid any other confusion within the program. So that's it. Have to, have to give your program within the inside the bracket. We have English, SST, and science. So that's it. So here down, I just need the program to print for me down the total of the student. So I'll just say maybe actually that. You are. I can simply say OSP or A percent D. This is what I something mean here. A percent D, a comma. You are total marks is percent D in this case around one percent S where this percent D now I mean is going to be let me start with percent N F which now is going to be a logical and first the F name I also have here what known as L name for the user's name there also which this one also we're going to be having all there what known as actually simply total now here with the total you don't use one known as logical and why because the storage was already increased here with this math but i think you can see this uh, logical here so we are just adding guys so that's why actually i'm not adding any of those within the program now that's it and then total with actually total then this logical because i'm calling it straight from the from the scanner up here so it's not going to be stored anywhere within the program because i have i didn't give one single name for to in mean to mean whereby you have first name and second name so that can be added i didn't actually use that array within the program here and uh, let me just try to continue down here and actually i will even just say uh that's it now how do you get average because i would like the program to print for us your total max is blah blah and your average is this I'll just even happen to come in here and you are uh, and and average max is percent s also so how do you also get average I'm also going to just define it within the program here which I'll just say average is actually equal to having you can also open it to avoid errors within your program and what am I just going to say? I'm going to just say total and I'll divide by four. Why? Because I have guys four subjects. These are simply four subjects English, math, SST, and science. So let me just come down here within the program and actually happen to say that your average marks is percent D. And I happen to come out of the program here and I'll also just say actually average. Because also with average, I don't use, I don't need to put there what known as the logical and within because I'm just adding. Actually, I'm dividing what was actually submitted for me for the total so that I can just be produced on the screen. Now, guys, if you try to happen to run this program, this is what I actually do for you guys. If I happen to enter OSP and 
press enter for pro that's it your name is that blah blah let me if I enter the max that 50 uh, 65 78 then 89 that's it will say hey always be pro your total max is 290 and average max is 72 now that's great but I would like us to put some condition whereby when someone happened to get those kind of average marks either else I will give one on us the uh, a condition so that they pass you can go to the next class if at all you have to go to the next class or should you tell the person that you failed so you have to repeat so that one I just want to use simple condition within the program just going not make everything hard for you guys I'm just going to use one on us today the if statements I'm going to use the if statements within this map program so I'm going to say that if average if average is less than 50 I'll just need the program to print from here down that uh, just gonna say you you failed actually you failed the exams exams and you need to retake I'll just use that simple condition then I can as just either I can just use if statements or I can use one known as the condition statement by just using here else and which else will just be printing for us down on the screen straight away so we just happen to give it here whereby say that maybe if the user is not fair then you excel in the exams and you are promoted guys that's what so far i have within my program so if you happen to compile and happen to run this program this is it if i just happen to enter someone's name i compile i enter the marks for ing maths <coughs> English that that is it that's it and maybe that it has to tell me something that hey bro are you uh, total max is this and average max is a uh, 68 62 you let me just put some some kind of stuff within the program to avoid confusion is backslash n here Think that will work good better so if you happen to see so if I enter the marks that's it it will happen to give us something like that your total max is that and average is this so you excel in the exams why because you happen to give a condition that when someone gets actually above yeah. When someone happens actually happen to give get above 50 then a person excel so guys that's it please don't forget to subscribe to OSP pro videos and if you would like this course guys you can comment down and send for the, the, the entire course uh, don't forget to comment please like the video share this video on all your platforms uh, thank you guys